Okay, we're back now in the CI kitchen with our U Vice student, Chef Greg Chavez, who's been making an authentic guacamole here in our CI kitchen. So when we last left, we had everything kind of dumped in the bowl, and now we've mashed it all up. Yep. So remind everybody what goes into authentic guacamole. So obviously avocados, lime juice, salt, tomatoes, if it's you want, really want to make it authentic, cilantro, and onions. Okay, now I see tomatoes over here on our counter too. Mm -hmm. Those are also optional. Yeah, if you just want to make it a little bit more like a salsa, a little bit more authentic, guacamole does have tomatoes, but if you want to make it a little bit more shelf stable, then you don't need to add it. Okay, so this is all in preparation of your big spice box meal coming up yeah. on Wednesday. Remind everybody what they can experience at your meal. Yeah, so over there we're going to make a Mexican and Korean fusion food and as y'all recipes that I made up I with the help of my guest chef Luis Parada who works also in both Korean and Mexican restaurants and uh, we're gonna have ceviche we're gonna have a pork belly bowl we're gonna have um, a grilled chicken tostada salad and cool. yeah it sounds delicious yeah. and like sound like you put a lot of thought into these recipes with mm -hmm. your with your partner in crime yeah it's been it's been a long long like planning yeah. in it but it's gonna pay off it sure is okay did you make these chips yourself uh yeah we did i these are i fried those at the bevier cafe oh my gosh okay well i'm ready to dive into some guacamole will it stay green or will it turn turn kind of brownish it'll turn kind of brownish if you don't don't do it don't cover it up i said don't <laughs> okay go ahead <laughs> yeah, it will turn kind of brownish if you don't cover it up because of the oxidation. It's gonna, it's okay. gonna make the, make it brown. So you need to add a little more lemon juice mm. and then cover up with a little plastic wrap. Ooh, good tip there. Well, this is delicious. Ooh, I feel the heat. Mm -hmm. But it's so worth it. Oh my gosh, Greg, thank you so much for coming yeah. in. We have Greg's recipes ready for you on CLiving.tv and make plans now to attend his spice box meal on Wednesday. There's the information which we'll also have on CLiving.tv after today's show.